Google helping China, really are, are the only global rival we face, but refusing to help the Department of Defense. Am I overstating that? No, not at all, Tucker, and it's actually even worse than that. A lot of people don't understand that to do business in China, you have to agree to basically be in bed with the Chinese government. You have to keep your data in your business over there in China. You have to respond to their data requests, and you have to you know, have them looking over your shoulder and everything you do and perhaps taking a stake of what you have. And so on top of that, uh, China has its own sort of government-run business operations, and those are staffed with and owned by uh, the children and the princes of the uh, people who are in power in China. So there's no doing business in China without being intertwined closely with the Chinese government, and that's what Google is doing. So I just want to digress because I can't control myself. If Google really has a chokehold on all information in English, okay, Google has a demonstrated political bias, which is, is overwhelming. Absolutely. They're banning things they don't like. How can we believe that the 2020 election is going to be fair? You would be naive. In fact, I would say stupid to believe that. I think there's ample evidence, uh, even going back to a couple of years ago, I filed this lawsuit, as you know, against Google. And even yes. then, similar documents to the one that you mentioned in that email, Google has been punishing conservatives and hounding them out and uh, criticizing people who support anything conservative for, for a couple of years, ever since the election, actually. So it's been almost three years now. And now that they are openly, and Twitter and Facebook as well, to a certain degree, openly banning and cracking down on conservative speech because they think it is dangerous and they want to protect people from these conservative ideas, uh, they are absolutely going to wield that in favor of Democratic candidates. I mean, we've already seen Google banning ads from the president on immigration issues, on uh, Marsha Blackburn, on abortion issues and other issues like that. Sometimes they're called on it and they back off, but that's happening. And, you know, interestingly, Wait, Tucker, can I say, do you think the yeah. president understands that he will not be reelected in a free and fair election unless someone gets a hold of this. Until I'm not sure the, the, the whole establishment understands that, the Republican establishment. I'm not sure. I keep do you believe saying that? It. You can, I do. I, I do too. Do. I, think, I think it is. I think we were in crisis mode. I mean, so the old technology, the, 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 the FCC doesn't allow sort of traditional broadcasters to ban ads from political candidates. Yes. But these social media companies can, and they do. We have evidence of that. So if we allow this to continue, if we allow this to happen in 2020, it is game over for conservatives in this country and for competition in our politics. They act like it's just, well, we're going to let the free market do its thing. No, there's nothing right. free about this. This is right. a company collaborating with our enemies, stifling political speech, and we will not have a fair election unless well, someone does something. That's right. And the think tanks and the conservatives who say that this is free market, they're getting contributions from Google and big tech. It's disgusting. And I don't think anyone's done more on this than you have, and I appreciate that. Thanks, Thank Tucker. Thank you, Armin Dillon. Great to see you. Well, the Mueller investigation...